Hey guys and welcome to Smart Home Things, a channel dedicated to smart home technology. Today we'll be doing some smart home automation in Apple Home app without an actual Apple TV or an iPad. Enjoy! Okay, so welcome to the video. Uh, we have few prerequisites to install this uh, Note Red uh, to our home bridge. So uh, obviously uh, go to the uh, plugins uh, GitHub. Uh, the address will be uh, linked in the video description. So what we need? We need Homebridge and Node-RED. Uh, we have Homebridge already. If you don't have it, please watch uh, one of my videos telling you how to do that. Okay, so next install Node-RED. To install Node-RED we need to do a few things, but don't worry, it's quite easy. Uh, don't follow the Raspberry Pi installation of Node-RED, it will basically break your Homebridge installation, you have been warned. So how to install Node-RED? Uh, it's quite easy, just do sudo npm install uh, gunsafe perm Node-RED, so basically what they are saying on their wiki page. And basically that's it. The terminal will do a couple of things and after a minute or two you are done. Next things you need to do is, well, first you can check if the node red is running. So you can just uh, enter node red in your terminal and this will start uh, the service. You can check if it is running by going to your Raspberry Pi or whatever IP address you have installed your Node-RED on with the port 1880 and you should be greeted with something similar like this but obviously without uh, those tabs and actual workflows inside. Okay, so we have installed our Node-RED, now we have to make it run uh, at the system start. Okay, to run Node-RED on your system startup with systemd, there is also a really easy way to do that with Node-RED org uh, GitHub page. So you basically have to copy and paste all of those instructions uh, one after another and then just execute this one. This will uh, enable the service and after that the easiest way is just to reboot your Raspberry Pi, type in your IP address with that uh, 1880 port and you should be greeted again with no thread. Okay, so those are the prerequisites. Uh, additionally, you must be running Homebridge in the insecure mode. If you don't know what that means, again, please watch one of my videos uh, actually, this is uh, one with installation of Web GUI. It will show you how to uh, turn Homebridge into insecure mode. It's really easy, don't worry. Okay, so as the author is saying, we need insecure mode uh, and then we need to uh, basically install the Node-RED plugin for Homebridge. To do that, just copy over these commands into your terminal window and basically you will be done. Okay, so next author is saying start node red, but actually to make sure everything is okay, uh, you will be probably best of just rebooting your system. Okay, so when you are done with this, then you have the initial setup and configuration of node red. So as the author is saying, you basically have to go to your Node-RED, so again, IP address uh, and port 1880, and then you have to basically initialize your Homebridge uh, connection. So drag over your Homebridge event, double click on it, and you will be asked to add a new Homebridge config. So uh, clicking on this uh, pencil icon, will give you this, uh, let's say, configuration window where you have to insert the pin number. I have my configuration already added, but after clicking add, you will be on this window with this pin and uh, you have to press done. 
uh, when you press done you click deploy and after that's deployed after let's say a minute or two when you double click this again you will see a list of all your devices that you have added to your Homebridge. Uh, a little side note here, uh, Homebridge devices, not Apple Home devices. So if you have something in your Apple Home app and, and not uh, in your Homebridge uh, installation, it will not be displayed here. There are ways to get over that, but this is not the subject of, of this video. And what can you do with no thread? Basically, uh, you can do really a lot of things and basically imagination is what you are blocked with. So, uh, examples for me, I have my weather station configured. So, I have some MQTT feeds uh, that no threat is listening to. And those feeds uh, are uh, basically pushing the sensor information to the things speak web interface and all is con controlled by this node red interface additionally i have some uh, some of the sensors uh, also connected to web gui um, plugin for node red because node red has a lot of plugins and uh, those informations are fed into the uh, charts nodes and basically uh, charts of my uh, sensors are created and this can be done persistent. So if I go to node red and that port number uh, slash UI, uh, I will be greeted with uh, a graphical interface uh, that was configured uh, entirely by me. We have nodes that are let's say a beginning and we have a node that is let's say an end so just with that you can take one node that is a beginning of something uh, select your configuration select uh, a device that you want to uh, uh, that you want to start control uh, and then take the device you want uh, this this uh, first node to interfere interface with so uh, I select another light switch and click done. Then I just uh, link those two, those two nodes. And now when I press deploy, everything is done. So when I switch on uh, the lights uh, in the room I'm currently in, then uh, light in my uh, saloon will be a lit off also so you have a lot of possibilities here you can really uh, be creative with that so i really encourage you try this add-on you can automate anything you can have timed tasks you can have uh, sunlight related tasks you can have web interface tasks you can basically have uh, anything here there are like 1 million plugins for this so please give it a try it's really it's really something uh, to, to to check on okay so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and please remember to like share and subscribe see you in the next one